Hello all, this is Tarun. Today I am going to show you how to open .nuke files in NukeX. By default, when you double click this Nuke file, it will open in Nuke. Before I get jump into the topic, let me show you why would you want to prefer NukeX instead of Nuke. Okay, I am launching this Nuke file. See in this command prompt, it's showing that uh, it's launching in Nuke. See these are the nodes which will not work in Nuke. At once Nuke gets launched, it will show you an error. See this functionality is only available in Nuke X, but the current license name is Nuke. I'm hitting OK, and also it's showing one more error. It is it's read only variable, which means we can only read this node. We cannot modify any of these nodes. See, let me show you a demo. I am expanding my viewer. Okay. Okay, these are the nodes which will not work in Nuke. Okay. Okay, uh, this is the first node is the point cloud generator. See, all the properties are grayed out. And also in model builder node, here it's also all properties are grayed out. And as well as in smart vector and in vector distort. And also in the regrain node, actually the node will works, but we cannot modify them. See, in playback it's working fine, but we cannot modify it. Not only in the regrain node, we cannot use any of these furnace products uh, and also we cannot use uh, particle systems and also we cannot use these Caraviar plugins and nodes. Um, see and also we cannot use this matched grade node. Actually the grade node will work. See in the viewer you can see that we, it's working but we cannot modify these nodes. Okay. Okay, I am closing this. Okay, now I am going to show you the process how to open your Nuke files by default in NukeX. See, when you open this same project in NukeX, it will work. See, I am, I am launching my NukeX. I am opening the same project in my desktop. See, we are not facing any error with this. Uh, we can modify it you see here we can modify any of this and also in model builder node we can modify them and also in uh, regrain node we can modify any of this we can modify the grains as well as you want we can modify any of this the problem is only with nuke okay I am closing this Okay. okay, now let me show you the process how to open your Nuke files by default in Nuke X. Now go to Windows and type Nuke, right click, open file location and here right click, properties. Here at the end you have to type some value, uh, leave a single space, type hyphen hyphen Nuke X and then single space, double quotes, percentage 1 double quotes and hit ok now close this now go to your register editor by clicking windows r and type regedit hit enter before we are going to make some changes in register editor make a backup of it go to file and export i am exporting into my documents as reg backup hit save okay now backup is done now expand this class root here you have to create some key structure right click create new key type new script now go to view and refresh your registry okay now click on new script right click new key shell and again create a new key by clicking on shell then type open then create one more key as command okay in command click on this default and here you have to give some value to launch your nuke files by default in nuke x so go to windows type nuke again open file location and properties copy this 
and paste over here hit ok and scroll down to the top and find dot nuke dot nk file here in dot nuke double click on this default and type nuke script nuke script see the n should be capital and also the s should be the capital and hit ok now close this now click on current user expand this and expand the software then find microsoft under microsoft find windows under windows find current version then find explorer then find file extension where is it here under file extension find dot nuke file see here it is expand this let me clearly explain how this works before the nukes command get launched it will look for this path in registry editor and now here in this nuke section here we have user choice right this user choice this user choice will make dot nuke files to open in nuke so we don't want dot nuke files to open in nuke so i am deleting this user choice Now close this. Once we have deleted that user choice, it will not look for the path in this section. Okay. So it will look for the path in class root. Now expand this and find dot nuke. Here in nuke we have given as nuke script, right? Then it will look for nuke script. See here in nuke script section in command we have given the value as nuke x so it will launch dot nuke files in nuke x hit ok and close the registry now now I am opening this nuke file see while initializing launching in nuke x See now it's get launched in nuke x. I'm going to avert nuke. See it's nuke x. Okay, close this. Now if you feel you don't want this feature or you don't want to open out nuke files in nuke x, simply go to register editor and in class root scroll down to nuke script. Click on this new script and delete this. Now, now when you run this script, it will launch in nuke. See here it's showing that it's launching in nuke. Okay, that's all. I hope you have learned something useful in this video. Thanks for watching.